This video is brought to you by Squarespace. suspension bridge in the world the Capilano suspension bridge which is located here in North Vancouver and I'm really excited to explore this place so for tickets you can always buy them online or you can come here and get the tickets as well and for one adult it's $60 that we paid for in which you can explore the entire suspension bridge park which not only has a bridge but also a couple more activities that I'll show you inside so let's go so you actually start at the suspension bridge park and now I have to locate the bridge I see a map there. I think that's going to be super helpful. There are a couple of things that we can do here. So there's suspension bridge, obviously. There's also cliff walk, as well as treetops adventure as well. And this is all inside the park here. Also scan this map. This is going to be super helpful. Did you know this is originally built in 1889? Wow. So Capilano Bridge was built by Scottish civil engineer George Grant Mackay simply because he wanted to get to the other side of his property. But soon after, it became so popular that there were too many people roaming through his backyard which made him get rid of it quickly since the bridge was never intended to be a tourist destination. Later, the original bridge which was constructed of rope and planks was replaced with a wire cable suspension bridge in 1903 and after changing hands a couple of times, the current version of the bridge that you see today dates way back to the year 1956. This is actually Vancouver's first tourist attraction. And it started raining, so definitely you should have an umbrella if you're coming here. Wow, look at all the trees here. We're surrounded by nature. This is beautiful. And I see the bridge there. You see that? Is that the bridge? I think so. Just when you enter, you will see North America's largest and most beautiful collection of totem poles. So if you're wondering what they are, totem poles are unique monuments that are usually carved from large trees and depict historical events of First Nations people. They also have totem poles at the Stanley Park too at the Sea Wall. And the park has strong ties to indigenous culture. So if you want to learn more about the history, you can take a guided tour. Not all of these. Family story poles were carved for the park. Also, fun fact, the name Capilano comes from Squamish word Capilano, which means beautiful river. And now, welcome to the main attraction of the park, Capilano Suspension Bridge. It's definitely going to be a wobbly ride there. And you know how strong is this bridge? This can actually take weight of over 1300 people standing on it or 96 fully grown elephants so i think we should be good right <laughs> are you scared Sarant? i don't know i'm feeling scared now looking at people because <laughs> this bridge is shaking badly <laughs> you? Whoa. let's go oh yeah it is a bit wobbly it is Around. We're literally all surrounded by these huge trees and this is actually just right on the Capilano River so I can hear the sounds of the river. It is like so soothing. Hanging 230 feet above the Capilano River, the 450 long bridge is a sight to see. Stepping on it for the first time, I was surprised how much it bounced and swayed despite its sturdy appearance and size and the more people get on it, the more it moves. There's nothing to fear though because the bridge can apparently hold a fully loaded 747 airliner so a few tourists aren't going to cause it any strain. And the bridge is the most popular attraction at the park so try and arrive early to beat some of the crowds and give yourself time to enjoy your crossing. The massive bridge makes for some great photos but the surrounding forest and the river below are equally stunning. It's 
Oh. Do you see this? <laughs> this is fun. Yeah, this is how much it's moving. Wow, I can see the mountains from here as well. Yeah. It's a really nice experience, very different. Oh shit. <laughs> if there are a lot of people passing by you, yeah, you it can really moves. It. You can actually feel it like shaking. Damn, the views. Oh, it's <laughs> moving a lot here. <laughs> and we're almost at the end now. Done. Done. Wow, that suspension bridge was quite a ride. I loved yeah. it, right? The views from we'll that go place. Back again from there, yeah, right? we have to go back from the same place. And the interesting part is just when you get off the suspension bridge, there are some other walks as well. But first, we need coffee. It's actually kind of cold. My hands are freezing. Yeah. And also, they're serving something called as beaver balls. I've had beaver tails before, but never beaver balls. It's all right. It's all right? Yeah. It's soft, but uh, it's okay. Not that great. Let's, Let's go. go. No. No? It's not that great, to be honest. Hmm. Not worth $10. Yeah, it was just $10 for 10 beaver balls, <laughs> which are really tiny. Coffee is good. Mm. And now we are off to Treetops Adventure, which is a series of seven suspension bridges, which is attached to trees. I think the tree is called the Douglas Fears, which is like 250 year old. Can you imagine? Wow. Oh yeah, I see people on top of the bridges there. Yeah. Are we supposed to go there? Yeah. Wow, this is going to be an adventure. We're literally in the middle of the rainforest and rain is also pouring and enjoying my coffee. It's totally worth coming here. Never seen anything like this. Yeah. Three tops adventures right there. This looks so cool. Wow. I can't believe this is actually just 15 minutes from downtown Vancouver. You have to visit here. This is definitely a must visit place here in Vancouver. Ooh, it says extreme nature ahead. That's actually a good thing, isn't it? That's why we are here. Yeah. Where are we? This is actually an adventure. You don't know where you're going. This was the first one. Suspension bridge too. I can see the other bridges here. They're all side by side. I think they're all continuous. Yeah. Suspension bridge three. Suspension bridge four, five, six. It says you're standing in the middle of the rainforest and it is one of the rarest types of rainforest on Ooh. the planet wow interesting most of the trees in this forest are coniferous meaning they have needles instead of leaves really wow interesting yeah you can see also these trees right here they're really old and some of the trees in this forest are more than 1500 years old can you imagine and the last one there's the bridge number seven Stepping on these seven small suspension bridges, you get to experience a stunning new perspective of the forest from high up in the tree canopy, so definitely don't miss it. We're done with the treetops adventure and now the next spot is the nature's edge. Wow, this place is beautiful, I have no words. It's actually breathtaking. Yeah. It's so peaceful out here. Yes, I love it. The entire park is almost like 27 acres. Can you imagine? It's massive. I don't feel like leaving this place. Same here. Let's go to the next one. Come. Let's just sit here and relax. Um, but we have so much to explore. Yeah. So can't waste time. I think Capilano is one of the most peaceful places that I've ever been to. The scenery is spectacular, 
the fresh smell of forest, mountain, air and the sounds of the crashing waves below were a treat for the senses. Do you hear this? It's so soothing out there. It's incredible. I mean, I'm, I'm short of words now. The wow. views are breathtaking. To be honest, I'm in love with this place. Yeah, we haven't seen anything like this in Toronto. No, actually. It's a heaven for nature lovers, so beautifully preserved and was a great escape for the day, leaving behind a concrete jungle for an actual jungle. This is so cute. So if you're looking to unwind and have a bit of adventure and be close to nature, this is it. Oh wow, here I can measure myself to see how long it takes for each tree to reach my height. I think let's do the main Douglas one. Almost 10 years. 10 years and this one? 13. 13 years. And this one? Six. 16. <laughs> wow. 16 years. You just get this much. Wow. Save trees. And now we are going to the nature's edge. And every place that I'm going to is just one after the other. This is a must-do activity for sure. Yeah. I'm in love with Vancouver. Should we just move here? Should we? <laughs> no but way. guys, this place, I swear, I have no words. The nature, beauty everywhere. <sighs> I would suggest get here early if you... Oops. Okay, it's slippery also. You need to wear proper shoes for this place. The only thing I would recommend is if you want this bridge all by yourself, come here early, just when the park opens. Otherwise, you'll find a lot of people and then, yeah, it's all going to be crowded. Wow. You have the river, you have the rainforest. You have the mountain and this longest suspension bridge right here. All in one place. Pinch me, man. I can't believe. This looks unreal. Ooh. When you look down, it's scary. Okay, I'm not going to lean on it. Nope. <laughs> are you scared? No, not now. Earlier I was. We are headed back to the next spot, Aya. which is... Hey, before we get to that place, I just want to take a quick moment to thank today's sponsor of the video, Squarespace. So if you're new here, Squarespace is an amazing all-in-one platform that literally has everything you could possibly need. So be it a blog, portfolio, online store, or even a website just like me, Squarespace made it really easy to showcase my work. They have easy put together award-winning designer templates to choose from, which are so easy to customize and update regularly. Plus, if you get stuck here and there, they have 24 seven customer support, so you don't have to worry at all. So go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash peekapoo to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain so i have the link in the description for you and if you use that it really helps me support this channel and also thank you squarespace for sponsoring today's video and now back to the video the last place we're going to check out is the cliff walk and this is supposed to be like really narrow this is actually a new build this was made in 2011. whoa we have to go there whoa this is steep the stairs are very very narrow but from here you can actually check out the entire rainforest this is where it's all attached from to the cliff here you get unobstructed views of the entire rainforest but this one is not wobbly which is which is good <laughs> if this was i don't know because this is like too narrow. That's the Capilana suspension bridge. I'll tell you a fun fact. These trees right here, they can absorb up to 40% of their water from fog. I just read it here. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually my second favorite walk. First was the suspension bridge and this is the second one. It's so cool walking around the cliff. It 
feels so soothing hearing the sound of the river flowing under the cliff. Yeah, we're just absorbing it all here. Yeah. I don't even feel like taking my phone out, I swear. Yeah. I really want to make some Instagram stories and everything. But just looking at this beauty right here, all this nature, I swear, I don't want to do that. Beautiful. Yeah. It's a very touristy area. And it still holds its charm after like years and years. And will continue to do so, I'm sure, like for years to come. I think we're almost done. No, there are still a lot of steps. Oh yeah. It's a bit scary to stand here. Because this is all glass, not here, but it's a nice perspective to look at. It is. There are a couple of stairs here. Oops. The box side is over. And also there's a restaurant and bar as well. So if you come here, there's food too. You can easily spend, I think, half of your day here. I'm all awestruck looking at this place. Capilano, you have my heart. Also, the best part is you get a free shuttle service to downtown, which is included in your ticket. So you don't have to like come by your own. We actually took an Uber while coming. We had no clue about this. But now we're going back to downtown for free. And that's it guys, I really hope you liked today's vlog and if you did, please don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll see you next time. Bye!